This weekend, 300,000 people are expected to visit downtown St. Pete to attend one of the largest pride events in the southeast. This year marks the 20th celebration and leaders tell ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbach the events show how much more inclusive Tampa Bay has become while also highlighting the need for more progress. Hundreds of thousands of people celebrating love, equality and inclusion. Brian Longstreth, the original pride organizer, I can't believe how much these celebrations have grown. Being the 20th year, there's a lot of flashbacks and, and thinking about what we started and how far it's come along. And it's just a kind of a great feeling to see how big it's gotten and how much it really has changed the community. 20 years ago, the Pride celebrations received support from just one city council member. Now, St. Pete is celebrating eight years in a row, earning a perfect score on the Municipal Equality Index. We're always going to fight for inclusivity and being that welcome city St. Pete has become. Pride celebrations now extend a full month in St. Pete, and every day of the year, inclusion is on display. You look at Sarasota Pride, Polk County Pride, Pasco County Pride, which I never would have thought would have had Pride celebrations, and they are. And I think a lot of that grew from the success of St. Pete Pride. But with that success, also adversity. This year, Florida leaders passed a Parental Rights and Education Act, known to critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill, keeping sexual orientation and gender identity discussions out of grade three and under classrooms. The bill has actually led to more support in St. Pete, according to Pride President Tiffany Friesberg. From volunteers, attendees, sponsors, we're seeing a huge influx, and I do think that is a direct response to the legislation and to the threats that our community is facing. Longstreth says 20 years later, the reason he started Pride celebrations in St. Pete just is relevant. I think it's a good time for people to, to remember why St. Pete Pride started, why Prides started, and we just need to be diligent in making sure that we don't lose the rights that we work so hard to gain. And the love, they say, St. Pete shows towards neighbors of all backgrounds. My Christian heterosexual neighbors fly the pride flag. That's really lovely. You know, that's not something that um, I take for granted. In St. Petersburg, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.